Finding the right employees is crucial for the success of any business. You invest time, resources, and hope the hiring is the right fit. But what happens when what seemingly seemed like the perfect employee turns out to be a disappointment? This is where the decision between coaching and firing comes into play. So let's talk about coaching. Coaching requires patience, but can yield significant rewards. It's an opportunity for both employee and the organization to grow and improve together. Through guidance and feedback, employees can enhance their skills, understand their strengths and weaknesses, and work towards achieving higher performance levels. Coaching also fosters employee satisfaction and loyalty, contributing to higher retention rates. By investing in coaching, businesses not only develop their employees, but also retain valuable talent, leading to a more efficient and successful operation. So here are the top three situations where coaching would be highly recommended. Skill enhancement. When an employee demonstrates potential but lacks certain job-related skills, coaching can bridge that gap. For example, a sales associate might benefit from coaching on effective negotiation techniques to improve sales performance. Performance improvement. Employees who are struggling to meet performance expectation despite effort may benefit from targeted coaching. For instance, a customer service representative could receive coaching on handling difficult customers to improve overall satisfaction scores. Leadership development. Leadership development, this is where you would identify high potential employees and provide coaching to nurture their leadership capabilities. This can benefit both the individual and the organization. For example, a team leader may receive coaching on conflict resolution to effectively manage team dynamics. Now let's talk about firing. So these are the three carriers you would want to consider when you need to make that decision to fire that employee. So to caveat, while coaching is often preferred, there are instances where termination becomes necessary. Repeated failure to meet performance standards, serious misconduct, or negative impacts on team dynamics are situations where termination may be the only solution. Despite efforts to coach and support employees, some individuals may demonstrate an unwillingness or an inability to improve. In such cases, termination may be necessary to maintain organizational standards and protect the interests of the company. So going back to the top three situations when firing is in fact needed. Repeated failure to meet performance standards. So despite coaching and support, the employee consistently fails to meet performance expectations, and this impacts the team's productivity and organizational success. For example, a software developer who repeatedly misses project deadlines despite receiving coaching and support. Serious misconduct. Instances of harassment, discrimination, theft, or dishonesty all undermine organizational values and create a toxic work environment. Immediate termination may be necessary to uphold ethical standards and ensure safe workplace. For instance, an employee caught engaging in fraudulent activities despite warning and coaching. The next one would be persistent unwillingness to improve. Despite receiving coaching and feedback, some employees demonstrate a lack of motivation or capability to improve their performance or behavior. In such cases, termination may be necessary to maintain the organization's standards of excellence. For example, you have an employee who consistently disregards company policies and fails to show improvement despite coaching and warnings. Ultimately, the decision between coaching and firing is never easy. However, it's crucial to recognize when coaching is no longer effective and termination becomes the best course of action. Delaying this decision can be detrimental to the company's success. Finding the right employees is an important process for a business success. While coaching is valuable, knowing when to coach and when to fire is equally important. By making informed decisions and prioritizing the organization's needs, businesses can navigate the challenge of employee management effectively.